Glory be to Jesus. Good morning once again. This is Bishop James Antensaki of the Christ Church International. It's a blessing to come your way with God's word of hope for your day today. There is hope for your future. Don't give up on yourself. The Bible says in Psalm 23 and the verse number 4, that very famous Psalm, Psalm 23, which begins with the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The verse number 4, it says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. The old King James Version and the most popular one we know is, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. The shadow of death is a dark shadow. We all ascribe, you know, darkness to death. The Bible says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. See, in the Bible, valleys are often a metaphor for times of darkness, times of despair, times of defeat or discouragement. And, you know, in Bible days in Israel, even up to today, on the road, for example, from Jerusalem to Jericho, there are very deep valleys. Um, um, the Americans call it canyons, you know. Uh, but they, these are deep valleys. And some of them along the road to Jericho were narrow at the bottom. And some of them can be as tall as 1,000 feet. Um, the only time you could see sunshine at the bottom was when it's noonday and when the sun was straight overhead. Otherwise, on the left and on right, when you are walking there, you don't see any sun at all. It's all darkness because it's so tall that it has even obstructed the size of the sun when the sun moves above to the other side, either to the east or the west. And sometimes that's a, probably what David may have traveled through many times and could see himself through this valley, this state of depression. A valley is a state of depression, a state of hopelessness, a state of darkness, a state where you turn left and right and can't see any joy or hope. Psalm 23 is so loaded. It says, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil for you are with me. May this be the assuring word in your spirit that God is still with you. You will fear no evil. This morning, fear no evil in Jesus' name. The Bible teaches that God is not just a part of your mountaintop experiences. He's also with you in the valleys. There are three things that you need to remember about the valleys. Valleys are a part of life. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 11:11, 11, 11, the land you will soon take over is a land of hills and valleys. God promised them a land. The promised land is made up of hills and valleys. If you go to Jerusalem, you will see it is made up of hills and valleys. That means that life itself is made up of hills and valleys. God is not only the God of our mountain top, he's also the God in our valleys. But when we are in our valleys, when we are in the most depressed state, he's still with us. Never forget that. He will take you out in the name of Jesus Christ. The next thing is that valleys are inevitable. You likely just probably came out of a valley as you are listening to me or you are in the middle of one right now or you are headed into another one life is like that there's no way to avoid valleys while you are on this earth instead you can count on them in the midst of the valleys God is able to hone a new thing out of you he's able to bring a hope out of a hopeless situation and the third thing is that valleys happen to everybody they are impartial good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people we live in a fallen a broken world so we have problems nobody's immune nobody's insulated from pain nobody sails through life problem free but I want you to understand that God will still be with you in the midst of your valleys. I don't know what kind of valley you are going through. It may be a health valley. It may be a marital valley. It may be a parental valley, a childbirth valley, a, mari a premarital valley, an academic valley, whatever it is, a business valley. But God is able to take you through the valley. It will take you through the valley to take you on the mountain. You can't go on top of a mountain until you go through the valley. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that God will hold your hand. Be strong where you are at the moment. You will not crash. And with strength in prayer, believe God. Trust God. Believe the word of God. Read the word of God. Pray. 
and stay in the community of people of faith and hope. I see you coming out of your valley situation in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, even though I walk through the darkest valley, I know you are with me. Your rod and your staff will comfort me. I pray the rod of the Lord of God, the direction of God, and the staff of God will bring you comfort in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will hold your hand and take you out of the valley because the next thing that happens after the valley situation is that you will take you on top of the mountain and prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Your mountain life is about to explode very soon. The current valley situation will not be forever. That's why I love the scripture that says, even though I walk through, I see you walking through. You are not stuck there. You are not going to remain there. You will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. And when you get to the other side on the mountain, you have enough experience to stay there by the grace of God. May God bless your home. May God bless your life. As you step out today, may Jehovah watch over you and deliver you from sudden untimely death, from every shame, from every cacophony, of darkness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May God help you to come out of the valley and stay on top in the mighty name of Jesus. I see you returning with testimonies by the grace of God. In Jesus' most excellent and holy name, there is hope for your future. And until I come your way again tomorrow, I'm Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International. You are the head and not the tail. You are coming out of your valley. Cheer up. Have a blessed, fruitful, and peaceful day. Bye-bye.